Welcome to Erev Shabbos Kodesh, Parshas Vayetze, and the Parsha Ponderable for this week. Ruvain was traveling on a business trip to a foreign country when he was kidnapped by a group of thugs. Ruvain made a promise to himself while in captivity that if he ever got released, he would give $18,000 to tzedakah. Sure enough, within a couple of weeks, when the thugs had managed to take whatever possessions Ruvain had, including his bank accounts and any assets that he owned, Ruvain was released. He returned home, thankful to be alive, but wondering how he would ever be able to repay his debt to tzedakah of $18,000. A few weeks later, Ruvain bumped into Shimon, who told him the following story. He said, my son just went through a very serious operation, and I made a pledge that if my son would survive that operation, I would give $18,000 to tzedakah. Baruch Hashem, my son survived the operation, but the cost for the operation and all of the subsequent medical procedures have left me virtually penniless. And Shimon was wondering how he was going to be able to fulfill that pledge to tzedakah for $18,000. Suddenly, Ruvain had an idea. He had a friend, Levi, who would be willing to lend him $18,000 for one day. Ruvain would borrow the $18,000 from Levi, and then he would then give the $18,000 to Shimon as a fulfillment of his pledge to tzedakah. Shimon would then take the $18,000 and give it back to Ruvain as a fulfillment of the pledge that he made to tzedakah. Ruvain would then return the $18,000 to Levi. Sounds like a plan. Too good to be true or not? Yemir Tzashem, the answer next week. Shabbat Shalom.